thinking about it every day. I can't even look at my room the same way now. Even go to my room the same way now. Are you ready to go make sure that your death is true? That your sacrifice is true? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, we've located his dimension. It was honestly pretty hard to find. So this is the place. I mean, to be honest, I didn't really expect that much since I had really had no expectation. So... This is where we meet the one that sees all. I expected your arrival, normal Andrew. You cannot see me, since I'm a celestial being created by Codex. Very limited, but I can see the past, present, and future. You know specifically who I am. Well, I mean, I guess you're the one that sees all. You would know, you would know. I have a lot of questions, but let's just get out of the way. Am I actually dying? Am I actually making a sacrifice? Yes, you die. In this war? I cannot tell you specifically where, but you die on August 10th, 2020. It's not fair. What happens if I die earlier? Fate is already determined. The timeline won't allow you to make that change, as it'll cause ripple effects. But I don't get it. What if we enter the war now? Once again, the timeline won't allow you. You're so powerful, why not just take him down yourself? I've been cast out by the creator after realizing how powerful I am. I don't want to hear anything about this false god crack because none of you are forbidden. It's okay. It's okay. We got our answers. Let's get out of here. There's a million other possibilities, million other timelines, million other universes. This could turn out differently than the way it should be. And we're gonna make sure everyone, the team, your friends, your family, everyone is gonna make sure that- Forbidden. It's official. I'm not gonna fight my fate. If this sees it all, knows it, then it's happening. I'm gonna die with my heart intact, with my purpose around, my people of the century around.